Listin Diario Editorial for September 29th of 2021, The Wall with Haiti. For national security reasons, the country needs to protect its border and reinforce its immigration laws with a wall that actually delimits its territory in front of Haiti. The burden of Latin threat that are incubated in a country dominated by armed gangs forces us to shield its border control mechanism weaken off to face an unstoppable exodus or stampede of Haitians fleeing hell. Beyond the pervading state of disorder and violence in Haiti, the greatest dangers we face are the active chain of arms, drug and illegal traffic trafficking that has found fertile ground to develop under the umbrella of a failed state. Consequently, the Dominican Republic becomes a breach and to some extent a base of operations for undesirable elements that undermine our internal security schemes and without hesitation those of other nations in our region. Haiti has become an open corridor for the furtive movements of the hitmen of organized crime and master hands in terrorism and political destabilization in the region. Our climate of peace, order and economic development It's highly compromised as long as so many deep crises persist together in the neighboring state. That is why the measures announced last night by National Migration Council are important to effectively control the risks that are looming. These measures send clear messages that the time has come to reverse the passive attitude or poor responses to the incursion of illegals, a problem that is growing here and in other Latin American countries. The technological wall is an indispensable ram in the national security strategy that President Luis Abinader has been promoting from the first day of his mandate, aware of this latent threat. Its construction, therefore, is for the highest national priority. There can be no turning back or injustifiable delay in building it for the good, ultimately, of the two countries. For Listín Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodríguez.